What's up, guys? I'm back with another review. Uh, today, I'm talking about The Price of Fame. This is a documentary about the life of the million-dollar man, Ted DiBiase. Um, if you're not familiar with Ted DiBiase, which I'd be highly surprised if you're not, um, he was one of the greatest uh, res pro wrestling villains of all time. Um, he was at the top of the business during one of its biggest boom periods in the uh, late 80s and early 90s. Um, he was just a, just a super bad guy. He was great on the mic. He was great in the ring. And this documentary explores his life. Uh, you know, from a childhood growing up with a father who wrestled, uh, he wanted to emulate his father, so he went into wrestling. It talks about his early days in the business, some of the doubts he had about whether or not he was going to make it, and kind of, you know, who he talked to that kind of inspired him and motivated him to stay in. Uh, then it goes through his rise to uh, the WWF and how that fame and success kind of led to some negative consequences for him and some bad decisions, um, how those impacted him and his family. And then also the aftermath of, you know, what happened when his career was kind of had kind of ended, and you know, uh, his journey through faith. If you're familiar at all with Ted DiBiase's story, um, he became a very vocal uh, proponent for Christianity. Um, you know, kind of touring churches and giving speeches and giving his testimony about his personal life. But do not be scared off of this movie because it involves uh, faith. Um, all he does is present his story. He says, "This is what I did. This is how it worked out for me." And that's pretty much it. He did, never feels like, you know, you're being said like, you need to do this. You know, you need, this is the right way and the only way. It's never presented like that. Um, and it is such a big part of his life story. It makes sense to have it here. It would seem odd if it wasn't included. So again, don't be scared off because of the faith aspect. It's never heavy handed. It's never preachy. It's just part of his life. And he's saying, hey, hey, this is what happened to me. You know, this is what worked for me. And that's it. Um, the pro wrestling aspect of this movie is immense. There's a ton of really cool interviews with people like Roddy Piper, uh, Jake the Snake Roberts, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, uh, George the Animal Steel, Gene Okerlund, Jim Ross. Uh, there's just a ton, Shawn Michaels. There's a ton of interviews in this, and they're all very candid and open about what life was like in the business, uh, the toll it can take on you. And it was just interesting because it's giving us a perspective into one of the boom periods of a very interesting, colorful business. And we're getting these firsthand accounts from the people who lived it, uh, which a lot of times, you know, whenever we hear from famous people, we don't always get like, you know, the unvarnished truth about what was going on in this movie. You definitely do. So even if you're not a big pro wrestling fan, but you're just a fan of documentaries or, you know, real life stories, this is a great chance to get a look inside of a very interesting time period in a very interesting business so i think this appeals to people who are interested in the faith aspect people who are interested in the pro wrestling aspect and just people who like documentaries and interesting real life stories uh teddy biopsy is obviously a very interesting guy and to see his story play out here was just a lot of fun um i definitely feel like a lot of people will probably pass on this because it does involve some christian themes uh, but again, don't make that mistake. You're going to miss out on a really solid, really cool movie because of that. Because like I said, it never feels preachy and it never feels heavy handed. Um, I highly recommend uh, The Price of Fame. I saw it at the theater during a Fathom event and it was a one night only thing. But I have to assume it's going to come out on DVD, Blu-ray or digital at some point. Um, so if you're even a casual fan of pro wrestling, this is one you have to see. It's a well-made documentary about the life of one of the biggest names, you know, in the business ever. And it's just sprinkled with interviews of big name people giving candid, you know, perspectives on the business. Um, and it does involve some stories of faith from them as well. But even the other bits, it never, ever feels heavy handed at all. Um, it, well, as well as if you're just a fan of documentaries or you like a kind of inspiring faith-based stories, you should check it out as well. I think this appeals to a lot of people, and I hope it's able to find uh, you know its audiences within each of those groups. Um, I highly recommend The Price of Fame, but I, I grew up in that era, so maybe I'm a little bit biased. But uh, I really had fun with it, and I thought it was I thought it was really cool. Uh, so definitely check it out when you get a chance to. Um, I did a full write-up on uh, The Price of Fame on my website, markfusion.com. I don't review a lot of faith-based things, so if that's kind of what you're interested in, maybe, you know, just be happy with this review. But uh, if you like other kind of crazy movies and stuff like that, check out my website. I'm also on Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram, uh, at Bark Fusion. I'm also on Patreon if you want to get exclusive content, but the best way you can help me out is just to hit that sub button here. It's free and easy. The price of fame can be zero if you hit that button for me. So I'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. And again, do not be do not be veered off of this because of the Christian angle. It is there and it's it's handled respectfully. 
and it is definitely never preachy or heavy handed. So just check it out if you're if you're a fan of wrestling or uh, good documentaries. Thanks a lot for watching again, guys. Hopefully, I'll see you soon.